Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So last night my warband and I attempted all of the Inferno 1 raids and this is the video for Uthmashkar, the new Halikri boss on Inferno 1. So this is the last boss that you need to defeat to unlock Inferno 2. Now similar to the Apothrus raid, this first bit is a little bit like a tutorial of what to do to complete the raid. So you have these lanterns that you need to activate and let's head in and see what this boss looks like. So a couple of things to mention with this raid, for starters I was the only player on this team with the combat rating for this boss, so it is possible to defeat it with one or two players at the combat rating um, and to boost other players with it if they are close to the combat rating, so that is a bit of a bonus. Another thing to mention is these lanterns, these cleansing lanterns are a must use, so if anyone enters the raid they need to understand that they need to activate those lanterns to be able to attack and defeat the boss. So what these lanterns do is they clear any mist that the boss throws up and that allows you to be able to attack and see where the boss has gone. If the mist doesn't get cleared you cannot attack. So there are several stages to this raid and obviously depending on how quickly you take the boss down depends on which stage it gets to but you basically need to have this lantern charge activated above your character's head at all times to be able to give any damage. Now I'm not sure if this is a kind of visual bug here but you can see when you go to click on the lantern sometimes the hand is greyed out as if you cannot click on it but you can actually still get that charge, that cleansing charge for the mist. So if you're in this raid and it's greyed out around the lantern when you go to click on it just still click and you should still be able to get that charge to be able to defeat the boss um, as I was just doing then. So as I mentioned without that charge and without being able to clear the mist you cannot actually give any damage to this boss, it won't take any hits from you and you, um, at points in this raid, the boss will surround itself in mist and you won't be able to see it or attack it at all. So you'll only be able to see where it is by the minimap at the top. So you can see there's lots of different stages for this boss and depending on how many copies of himself he creates, it can be quite hard to defeat. Um, and the hits from this boss are also really hard as well. So if you are under the combat rating and you're getting help in this raid, definitely make sure you go in with more of a defensive build Going in with a necromancer that has bone armor or a monk that has inner sanctum, that will definitely help you take less damage from this boss. Um, so I mean, overall it didn't really take us too long to complete. Uh, we were with one person that wasn't from our warband uh, as one of our guys couldn't make it. Um, this is the stage in the raid that you need to be able to completely dispel the mist to be able to actually attack the boss, as you can see. Um, until we'd cleared the mist that was completely surrounding, we couldn't actually give any damage to the boss at all. But you can see the life is going down quite quickly, and we've now entered another phase with even more mist. <laughs> so it's, um, it's kind of like a pretty fast-paced raid. So... I mean, obviously, if I'd gone in with a full party with everyone at the combat rating, it would have been a lot quicker to clear. And at this point in the raid as well, there is only one lantern still active and able to use for that charge as well. So it will get to that point in the raid if it gets too far on. I think by Monday when we do this again and a few more people have higher combat rating gear, this will be a lot faster to complete. But for now, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.